amigos, welcome back. I hope you're having fun at home with mommy and daddy and that you're learning a lot. You're doing all the activities planned for this week about the insects. Now today, I wanna talk to you about something so, so, so small, so, so tiny. You cannot really see with your eyes, but if it gets inside your body, it could make you, wait, or it could also make you <coughs> get sick. Today I'm going to be talking to you about germs. Germs are very, very tiny, but if they get inside your bodies, they can make you sick. Now there are things to prevent germs from spreading. One of the things you can do, which we talked about yesterday, is wash your hands very, very well. This is the most important thing you can do to prevent the spreading of germs or the germs growing from one place to another, which is the meaning, the meaning of spreading. Wash your hands very, very well whenever you think it's necessary, but very importantly, before you eat after you go to the bathroom, after you eat, and whenever you feel they are dirty. Number two, second most important thing, it is very important to eat your meals and eat healthy. Eat your fruits, eat your veggies, and number three, try to exercise, but always, always with mommy and daddy. You can walk your, walk your doggy with mommy and daddy, you can go to the park with mommy and daddy, or you can also practice a sport also with mommy and daddy always always with mommy and daddy so today i have a very good book i love it i love this book it's called blow your nose big bad wolf and it's a book about precisely the spreading of germs so i hope you like it um it's one of my favorite uh, are you ready let's talk about the author of this book Remember when we talked about the author yesterday? What is the author? What does he do? The author writes the words in the book. So who's the author of this book? The author of this book is Mr. Steve Smallman wrote this book, wrote the words on this book. Now, books also have somebody who draws the pictures. Do you remember the name for the person who draws the pictures in the book? That's right. The name is the illustrator. The illustrator for this book is Mr. Bruno Mers. The title, Blow Your Nose, Big Bad Wolf. Once upon a time, there lived a mommy pig who had three little pigs. But little pigs don't stay little for long. It's time for you to build houses of your own, said mommy pig. Oh, mom, what? Ah, uh, shoo! And please use a tissue, added mommy pig. You'll make us all sick. Mommy Pig gave the pigs some money and a box of tissues each and sent them on their way. Now, what did they do with the money? The first little pig met a girl with a wagon full of straw. So he bought the straw, built himself a house and went inside for a little nap. This is the yellow one. This is the straw. The second little pig met a man with a wagon full of sticks. So he bought the sticks, built herself a house, and went inside to watch TV. That's the green one, it's a girl. She bought the sticks and built herself a house and went inside to watch TV. Now, the third little pig met a family with a wagon full of bricks. So he bought the bricks, built himself a house, and went inside for a snack. This is the third one, the one that bought the bricks. <clears throat> mm. 
there was a wolf who lived nearby. He, his name was Big Bad, but he was really nice. Big Bad had a nasty cold with a horrible runny nose. What he needed was a tissue to blow his nose with. He was on his way to buy some when he saw a new straw house. He peeped through the window and saw a little pig with a big box of tissues. Big Bad knocked politely on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, squealed the little pig. Oh, please, sniffled Big Bad. All I want is a, 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 a tissue. Big Bad sneezed, a sneeze so big that it blew down the house of straw. Eek! Squealed the little pig and he ran next door. Big Bad followed him to the house of sticks. He knocked politely on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, squealed the two little pigs. Oh, please, sniffled Big Bad. All I want is a, 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 a tissue. And he sneezed a gigantic, snotty sneeze. It was so gigantic that, guess what? It blew down the house of sticks. Yuck! Squealed the little pigs and they ran next door. Big Bad followed them to the house of bricks. He knocked politely on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, squealed the three little pigs. Oh, don't be mean, sniffled Big Bad. All I want is a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, tissue. But guess what? He sneezed the biggest, snottiest, slimiest sneeze he had ever sneezed. But the house of bricks did not blow down. The three little pigs were delighted. They danced around singing. We've got tissues, you've got none. You're the sneezes, naughty one. And that's when Big Bad got really mad. Then I'll come down the chimney and get a tissue myself, he roared. But as he started climbing up the train pipe, The three little pigs put a cauldron of water on the fire. If Big Bat's not face wolf comes down here, they chuckle. We'll boil his bottom. But Big Bad was so quick that when he came tumbling down the chimney, he landed in a cauldron of nice warm water. With a big splash, the fire went out. Squealed the three little pigs. I don't want to eat you, sniffled Big Bad. 
I just needed a, a, a tissue. And before he could cover his mouth, he sneezed a big, wet sneeze all over the three little pigs. Gross! They all cried. And guess what happened? Yup. Achoo! 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 Sneezed the three little pigs. If only they had given Big Bad a tissue, they wouldn't have caught this cold. The pigs passed around the tissues and made sure they passed some to the wolf. Big Bad settled down in his nice warm bath, blew his nose, and started to feel much better. The end. Now, did you like this story? This is why it's so important when you sneeze, you cover your mouth. You can use a tissue, you can cover with your elbow like this, or you can cover with this part of your body like this. Or also when you're coughing, <coughs> this part, this part, or a tissue which you have to throw away immediately and then wash your hands. Never sneeze or cough <clears throat> on your hands because then you, if you touch something, you will get that dirty. Or if you touch your friend's hands, you could give them your cold. I hope you like this story. I'm gonna come back with another story later, but that's it for now. I'm very happy that you were able to see me, that I was able to be with you for this little bit of time. Bye, see you soon. And how do you say bye in Spanish? Adiós.